Don't forget that I'm giving away an entire sneaker collection of shoe trees on this channel. All you have to do to join is subscribe to this channel, turn on your post notifications, leave a like on this video, and also comment down below, I want to win the giveaway. Hey yo, what is good you hype? Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also turn on your post notifications so you guys don't miss out on any of my future videos because I do come out with fashion content, everything from streetwear to designer, every single Monday through Friday. And on Thursday, sometimes I have live cops if there is a Supreme drop, which unfortunately today I did not have a video because I struck out completely and it was just terrible. It was a big mess. I thought I was going to be able to succeed, but nothing went right this morning, but it's all good because today we actually got this package in the mail and it is from Supreme and you guys already know by the title what it is or maybe, I don't know, whatever, depending on what the title is, you guys might know. So anyways, we got this right here and we're going to do a review on it. So without further ado, let's get into it. I don't have a knife, so I'm going to be using my Nexus card if it'll work. Oh, yo, this actually works. That's crazy. Yo, no way. <laughs> So this package right here is actually one of the biggest packages I got from Supreme ever. Other than the sneakers that I bought, I think there was an Air Force Ones collab, obviously with Nike. And it had like all the NBA teams on it. That definitely had to be the biggest box. This is the second biggest box. And the reason is because it is this right here. As you guys can see, obviously Supreme, like I said already, it does come in this weird shaped bag. It's not like a regular, actually it might be a regular size bag. It did cost me $358 after shipping. Obviously the shipping is only $10 on Supreme on every single item. But anyways, inside the packaging, let's see if we got any stickers. I don't think, oh yeah, we did. Yo, we got a lot of stickers this time, dang. Okay, so we got a Martin Luther King pin, which obviously the Martin Luther King stuff didn't have any resale, it was trash. It was a trash drop last week. We got this Supreme sticker and then a Martin Luther King sticker, which I wish they actually would've gave me this box logo sticker because I don't like any of the stickers, they're all trash. I only like the box logo ones because they are very fire. This bag, actually I think it's a regular size, they just look smaller because of, yeah, it's a regular size bag, I lied. It just looks smaller because it was a square box in there. So anyways, this item that cost me $358 is is the Tavoli speaker. The model is called the PALBT, which I'm assuming stands for Bluetooth because this speaker does come with Bluetooth. The speaker supposedly is a radio, so you can't play the radio through it, but I'm assuming by the Bluetooth part that you can play your own music on it, so you don't need to have an aux cord or anything. So we're gonna go ahead and test that out today and see how well the speaker sounds and how well everything works, how far the Bluetooth goes and stuff like that. So we're gonna slide that out. Hopefully nothing else falls out. So in this box, that's pretty much all there is. There's just a speaker and this fat manual, which is, I don't know why it's so thick. I think it's because of all, yeah, it's because all the languages that are in it. And the English part is literally only like this much so they do have a wide range of languages so you guys can read it doesn't matter where you're from even though most people that bought this are only from Europe Japan and US of course because that's where Supreme drops the packaging is actually pretty bulky however the speaker is not that big like if you take this off you can see that's the whole speaker right there down here I'm assuming comes a charger and the wall port and all that so you can charge your speaker yes I'm gonna go into deep detail review even though I don't plan on keeping this even though there's no resale so I might sell it for retail again which completely sucks because I thought it's gonna have resale like I said we win some we lose some and lately Supreme has just been not like Hasn't had that much resale lately. And of course, what I buy is the most expensive thing that has no resale. So anyways, let's go ahead and get into this box real quick. I just wanna see what's in here, I'm just a little curious. So yeah, we do have a charger, it looks pretty cheap. It's just like this, it doesn't look anything crazy. Oh, actually, I don't think it's wireless. I think you, it's either a charger or you have to have it plugged in for it to work, one of the two. So we're gonna go ahead and just untape this, bro. I'm gonna tape it back up once I go to sell it because I'm just using this for the purpose of the video. You already know me. Here's the speaker, guys. And honestly, the quality of the paint job is actually pretty good. I don't see the scratching or unless you drop it and really like mess it up. So I think the way you turn this on, you do have to have it plugged in actually. So first off, you do have these little red pads down here. They are like rubber, so you don't get it scratched on the bottom. You do have Supreme right there. The S-U-P-R-E-M-E -E goes all the way around the top and somehow they made it fit perfectly. You do have the buttons for on and blue oh shoot you don't need it. it's just a charger so here you have the switches to turn it on to fm am oh. would you like am or fin 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 or bluetooth obviously which you use and this is the volume i'm assuming And honestly, it's crazy because I think it's pretty loud and the quality sounds really good. But we're actually going to go over to Bluetooth and pair it. I don't know. I haven't read the instructions, but we're going to try to pair it without it. And it's cool because you can put an aux in so you can actually play by aux, I think. Or out, and you can put headphones in too. I don't know. Oh, that's headphones for the radio. Dang. So you can really just carry this around. Maybe on the beach, but even for the beach, I don't think this would be loud enough. 
Baby! This does get decently loud, but it is not as loud as you would expect it to be for $350. I bought a speaker that was way cheaper than that. It is this JBL speaker. I'm actually gonna test them and compare them. Okay, so max volume on this is what it sounds like right here. And this is what it sounds like on the JBL Charge 3. This one is way louder than this one. And not only this, but this is half the price. This is more than half the price off. This one, I paid $358 for. I'm not gonna lie, it has radio and all that, but how often you really listen to the radio? You can just go to your car and do that. This one, you can probably pull up a radio app on your phone and still listen to the radio. And not only that, it's waterproof, so it's not gonna have a problem with water when you take it to the beach or whatever. When out of these two, I would have to choose this one. That means I'm going to have to get rid of this one unless I just wanna have it for display. But right now, like I said, I'm not buying dumb stuff like that. I am gonna sell everything that I buy. So this will be for sale on my website as well. Like I said, I'm gonna be opening up soon. That being said, that concludes this review. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to smash that thumbs up button. And also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you guys don't miss out on any future videos. Today's fan of the day does go to Alex Diaz. If you want to become fan of the day, all you gotta do is subscribe to this channel, turn your post notifications on, and leave a positive comment down below. Anyways, guys, until next time, make sure you guys keep grinding. It's your boy, Sneaker, signing out.